We're in Susie's barn now. Yeah. And what's it feel like to have your own workshop? I love it. It's a great space. It really is. And what finish are we using on this live edge? Armor Seal, because it really creates a perfect top coat, the perfect go-to finish. Really soaks in there so nicely. It gives it a nice satin finish and do how a good coat. And how did it do on the sanding? You did great. And I tacked it off afterwards, make sure there's none of that fine dust that can be on there and create any issues for us. So. Okay. Well, in her barn, there's lots of windows. And see right there, Susie, that's an area it. that has started to spolt, which is decay. I know. Um, I love that. Okay. That gives the wood character. Yes, it does. Man. Okay. So we'll get this brushed out. And in between coats, hit it with white nylon pads, buff it smooth, no sandpaper on this, no steel wool in between coats. And then the other thing is right here. These antique legs, I'm just bringing it back to life with the Arm R Seal top coat. I didn't sand this. I want the defects of 100 years of finish to be on there, but it needs a little bit of TLC. Now, see these holes in the bottom of this old leg assembly? They're huge, and I'm using screws at half that size, putting the screw with a pilot hole in the bottom of the live edge top so that that allows the top to expand and contract and that way it will never split out the top. So we'll get it. this brushed out and then you'll get to see it when it's all done. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Where's this gonna go in our house? That's a good question. A lot of projects we gotta find home for. <laughs> it's That's a good true. problem to have. It is. <laughs> and I love this live edge right here. I wouldn't oh, dream of sanding that down once that bark came off on that hard maple. It looks so good. Mm -hmm. Okay, it looks Absolutely. Nice. So even though I do the sanding, I get to help with the finishing too. It's all good. <laughs> I appreciate the help. Good help's hard to find. Here we go. <laughs> That's true. Now, some folks would say, maybe you shouldn't put the armor seal on there. This will bring it back, but here are two alternatives. Furniture cleaner, if it's not on bare wood, but that's bare wood. And then you can clean up the finish and then put this top coat on it, orange oil, and it really makes it look great. But those are products not for bare wood. That's why I'm brushing a little top coat of Armour Seal on these legs that are over a century old. Some folks would say, well, you should leave them alone. Well, this is our table and we're going to make it look good. That's right. I love what you did. It's Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. And I love my barn space. It's awesome. And you'll see more on that in season 28 of the American Wood Shop. That's right. I'll have it all tricked out. Yes, you will. <laughs> and she's a big wood turner, a wood carver. But I can tell you what, wood is a huge part of our lives. And if it isn't part of yours, it's time to make it part of yours. Get your own wood shop up and running. We'll get this ready and you'll be time for the final reveal. All right. Can't wait to see it all put together. <laughs>